Hey, what is up my sexy viewers? It is Size Matters and today I'm going to be talking about how to figure out if people are going to try and scam you or if they're a phishing bot even before they've added you. A lot of new traders out there get scammed. They're like, oh, well, I got scammed my knife or, you know, somebody took my account and got it banned or something. And in this video, I really want to point out the things that you want to look for and people that are probably going to scam you and things that you know you should just avoid um, I saw a lot of comments on my video my knife giveaway video it's like oh well my items got stolen and I really hope I win or something like that and this video I really want to make to help those people like that that got their stuff stolen and help prevent the newer people from getting their things stolen from these phishing bots and scammers so um, I'm just going to talk about in this video, it's going to be really quick, uh, the people you shouldn't be adding and the reasons why you should not be adding them. So I've got two people that have sent me an invite right now. Um, and there's a few things you look at immediately when somebody adds you. So I've already got this uh, guy's profile up already. So um, first of all, you're going to look at Steam rank, uh, Steam level, I mean. He's got level 20, meaning that he spent money on his account and that it's been around for a while, at least. So we know for a fact that this guy wants a Steam account and is not probably willing to just throw it away by spamming links or trying to scam. That isn't 100% accurate all the time um, people do get their accounts stolen and then Fisher bots will take them over and start spamming on them and then some people just get greedy and some people just try to scam um, if you're not aware of all the um, prevalent scams then I've got another video on that as well I'll put a link down in the video and that will teach you all the scams that I know personally um, there are scams that just pop up every once in a while They're like oh I got an idea maybe this will work so you just got to be careful and don't give your items to your friend even like I know a lot of people they're like oh well I gave my friend my knife and he never gave it back well that's your own dumb fault you shouldn't be trusting people with your knife so keep your items and you can't get scammed if you don't give your items to somebody else then you can't get scammed um so this guy checks out he's clean i would be perfectly fine with adding this person so i'll move on to the next guy here um this guy has a really low steam level and i know a lot of people a lot of higher tier traders would be like oh this guy's probably a bot i'm not gonna add him but i like to look at someone's profile first so i'm looking at his profile right and it's like it's empty it's it, it just looks like a bot when you first glance at it it's like this person probably is not real and then the way that you can confirm all of it either confirm he's a bot or not is look at his inventory that's going to be a key factor in anybody if if somebody has an empty inventory and their account looks like this it's a bot like 100 percent, it's a bot but as you see he's got a stat track haram but so he's he's probably not going to be doing anything if he's spamming links or he's trying to scam people his account can one either get trade banned which would mean that his items are basically useless or he could just get his steam account shut down in all if he's uh, spamming links so most people are not going to risk that with a full inventory there's a lot of idiots idiots out there, so some people might be trying to do that, but like nine times out of ten, they're not going to be to be doing it. So that's that is how you determine whether somebody is a bot or not. Uh, that would I that would probably knock out most of the scamming that is going around. I know um, I get added a lot by spammer bots. I I would think like at least ten a day maybe um, so that should probably make it easier for you guys to determine whether you should add somebody or not I know it's a pain in the ass when somebody adds you and then you realize it's some dude spamming a link so 
it really gets rid of all that hassle with dealing with people. Another thing, um, if their profile is on private, ignore them. This it's mostly going to be a bot. Like most of the time, it's just going to be a bot. Because the way that I logically think about that is. If somebody wants to trade with you, their inventory is going to be up on their profile for you to see because if they want their items to be sold, they want people to look at them. They want people to say, oh, I may want that. So a lot of times when it's on private, it's it's not going to be a real person. So it's a short video today. Um, I feel like it's really helpful, though. I, I mean... I'm making this video really to just help people not get scammed. That's the biggest thing. And a lot of people do get scammed. I know because people come to me and it's like, I had my knife the other day and this guy said something to me and now I don't have it anymore. It's like, well, he's got to be careful. And some people, you know, they get greedy or they're just anxious or they just you know, want to have something else. And then next thing I know, they just don't have their knife anymore. And then they're out all their money that they spent on the game or what they traded up to. So it really sucks getting scammed. I've only got scammed once I think before. And it was because somebody told me an item was really good in TF2 and I believed them. And then I realized that the item was actually really shitty and it couldn't be sold it wasn't worth anything so it sucks when you do get scammed but don't let it get you down i didn't i worked through it and i still have all my stuff today and i haven't been scammed ever since i've been really cautious i analyze everything someone says if somebody's like hey dude can you give your knife to your friend right quick i want to make sure you don't like sell it or something stupid i'm like no dude i'm not gonna give my knife to my friend like i spent i mean the even the cheapest knives are like 60 70 dollars i wouldn't trust my friend with that much money or somebody online at least maybe somebody in real life but i i mean you just gotta watch out and you just gotta be i always have this like shield up and just immediately assume somebody might be doing something shady and then work through it and then you know if they want to actually do something then do it but uh yeah guys i hope this video helped you like i said i've made it to mainly help the new traders out there so uh yeah i'll see you guys later i hope you enjoyed the video